Hello there, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be finding the value of t that we satisfy this equation, which is 5 raised to power t is equal to t raised to power 625. Now, firstly, what I can do is to see how I can get rid of this t from here. So to do that, I'm going to multiply the exponent by 1 over t. That's the multiplicative inverse of this exponent t. Because if you multiply t by 1 over t, it cancels out and you have 1. So this is what we can do. Now I'm going to multiply the exponent by what? 1 over t. So let's start by doing that. Now this is going to be 5 raised to power t, okay, then times the exponent times 1 over t is equal to, you have to do the same thing too to the right hand side for balance. So 6, 2, 5, again, times what? 1 over t. Now, from the power rule, if you have x raised to power a and in bracket b, this also means x raised to power ab. So you see that the two powers we multiply to give you what? ab. That's exactly what we are going to do right here. So t and 1 over t, we multiply together. And then we're going to have 5 raised to power what? t times 1 over t is equal to. The same thing is going to happen too on the right-hand side. So we're we are going to have t raised to power 6, 2, 5 times 1 over t. Very good. So t cancels t. We just have 5 raised to power 1. Or just 5 is equal to what? t raised to power what? You multiply this, you get what? 6 to 5 times 1 is 6 to 5, then over t. 6 to 5 over t. But again, we have this 6 to 5, which we don't want. Remember, we're trying to keep t together and the other numbers together. So what do we do to get rid of this 6 to 5 here? Easy. I am going to multiply the exponent again by what? the multiplicative inverse of 6 to 5. If you multiply 6 to 5 by 1 over 6 to 5, it, they cancel out and you get 1. So that's what I'm going to be doing just as I did in the first case. So I'm going to have 5 raised by 1 times what? 1 over 6 to 5 is equal to t raised by what? 6 to 5 over t times what? 1 over 6 to 5. So watch this now. This cancels this. And then what do you have? We have that 5 is raised to the power of what? 1 times 1 over 6 to 5 is 1 over 6 to 5. And this is equal to what? t raised to the power 1 over t. But we cannot boldly say that t is equal to 6 to 5 or t is equal to 5. Because t has to be the same. t, t. But what do we have on the left hand side? We have 6 to 5 here. We have 5. So we have to do some tweaking, if you like, so that we can have the same number at the base and at the denominator of the exponent. Just imagine that you have, let me show you something. Just imagine that you have, let's say 7 raised to the power 1 over 7 is equal to x raised to the power 1 over x. Because the base is, and the exponent the match. You can boldly say that x is equal to 7 here. So that's the same logic we're going to pull up here to see if we can get the same number. Okay? Now, what can I do here? This is 1 over 6 to 5. Can I multiply 1 over 6 to 5 and divide 1 over 6 to 5 by 5? So I will multiply the numerator by 5 and also divide the denominator by 5. Now, nothing has changed because you can also cancel out and you get back what? Once, uh, 1 over 6 to 5. So the reason why I want to do that is to see how I can get the same number at the base and at the denominator of the exponent. Okay, let's try what if that will work. So 5 raised by what? 1 over 6 to 5 times 5 over 5. This is equal to what? t over 1 over t. Very good. Now let's multiply this. 1 times 5 is 5. So it's going to be 5 raised by what? 5 over. What is 6 to 5 times 5? That's going to be what? 3, 1, 2, 5. 3, 1, 2, 5. 
and this is equal to t raised to the power 1 over t. But if we bring out this, of course we can, 5 raised to the power 5 is, 5 raised to the power 5 is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is this not 3, 1, 2, 5? Yes, it is. So, wow, it's going to lead us somewhere. So, I can rewrite this as 5 raised to the power 5 times 1 over 3, 1, 2, 5. Of course, you can do this. Okay, if you multiply this exponent, you are going to get this back. So, this is equal to what? t raised to the power 1 over t. Now, 5 raised to the power 5 is what? 3, 1, 2, 5. 3, 1, 2, 5. Raised to the power what? 1 over 3, 1, 2, 5. And this is equal to t raised to the power 1 over t. Now, because the basis and the exponent match, we can say that t is equal to 3,125. So this is the value of t that will satisfy the equation. But this is not the only value of t. There's also another real value of t that will satisfy the same equation. But I will not be using that approach in this video. In another video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Lambert W function in getting the two real values that will satisfy this equation. I hope you got value from this video. Kindly subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I hope to see you in the next one. It's bye for now.